What's up, YouTube? This is Red Leprechaun Gaming, and welcome back to Sup to System Universe Book One: System Change by Sunrise CV. Chapter Twelve: Classes. Derek, Leon, and Thomas moved further down the stream, leaving the grieving family with their privacy. Derek found a small boulder to sit by the seat dream and used it as an impromptu seat. He could tell Thomas was having a hard time with the scene behind him. Kid, this happens more than you would know. It's something you have to get used to unless you plan to never leave your home again. Even then, he pointed at the barren village. That can always happen. He wasn't going to coddle the kid. He'd already showed him the scene at the village, so this was nothing. The only difference was that the boy was close to this family. It doesn't get any easier. Ever. You just learn to hide your emotions from others, and even yourself, better. I know it's harder because there are people you are familiar with and care about, but unless you're the next person to die, they won't be the last you see. He's right, Leon said, and it doesn't get easier. You just get better at controlling yourself. I know, Thomas said. I've lost before. When my parents didn't come home, in some way I'm envious that they, they get to say goodbye. It's only natural, Derek said. He had some questions for the boy, but he didn't ask them. Thomas had only ever talked about his grandpa and grandma. He had never brought up his parents before. If he wanted to talk about it, he would. Until then, Derek kept silent. It was none of his business anyway. He didn't even know why he wanted to know. As the trio sat in silence, Derek decided to clear up his interface by reading the notifications. You assisted in killing level 22 Forest Wolf. You have assisted in killing level 18 Forest Wolf. You have assisted in killing level 18 Forest Wolf. 48 experience gained. 128 out of 169 experience to the next level. At least I know that this system still has the same shared XP mechanic as the other. He scoffed at the system, making his life harder. Clearly he did almost all of the work when it came to killing those wolves. He moved on to the next messages. In total, he killed 32 different monsters in the village, netting him over 1,000 experience and 5 levels. He stopped leveling when his level hit 10. Derek pulled up his information. Personal information. Name, Derek Hunt. Age 29. Level 10. Choose a class to continue. Experience. Choose a class to continue. Class. Choose a class to continue. Race. Human modified. I wonder what I should do next. Maybe I should choose a class, Derek snorted. He didn't want to have to choose a class so quickly, but his progress halted until he made a decision. He'd have no choice but to choose one sooner rather than later. Derek scanned the area, making sure there weren't any threats wandering around. Seeing that everyone was relatively safe, sad but safe, he decided to look over his options. He focused on the class tab. He started reading down the list, but stopped once he realized that there were over a hundred classes he could choose from. Holy shit! How am I supposed to choose from this many classes? He couldn't believe his eyes. Before, when having to choose a class, there were only a couple dozen options, and most of them were common classes. Back then, very few of his class options were of higher rarity, so his decision wasn't hard. Yet it still took him forever to choose his class. Now with so many options, including rare and even epic classes, he didn't know what to do. He looked over at the kid and Leon. Thomas won't know anything, but I bet Leon can help. Hey, Leon, he said, getting the man's attention. When Leon turned around, he continued. I have a couple questions, if you don't mind answering. Whatever you need to know, ask. It's the least I can do for you after saving my life and the lives of the escaping villagers, Leon said. Okay, if I get too personal, let me know. You don't have to answer, Derek said. He wanted to let Leon know that he could refuse to answer if he wanted to. He wasn't forcing the man. Leon frowned, but nodded. First, if I don't mind, when you're choosing your first class, how many classes... When you were choosing your first class, how many classes were there available for you to choose from, Derek asked. Leon thought for a second before answering. Well, I had better than most. I had around 20 different classes I could choose from when I reached level 10. Oh, 20 is a good amount. Oh, so 20 is a good amount. Seeing Leon nod, he asked his next question. Out of those qu classes, how many of them were common, uncommon, rare? You know the rarities? Rare, Leon shook his head. I only know of a few people who were able to choose a rare class, especially as their first one. It was extremely unlucky to have received... I was extremely unlucky to... Re or extremely lucky to receive a single class with an uncommon rarity. Most people set er settle for common classes their whole lives, especially villagers like me, Leon explained. 
In fact, from what I've heard, even nobles in the big cities consider it good fortune to receive an uncommon class as the initial choice. If they're able to choose a rare class, they're considered a prodigy, Leon said. I see, Derek said. Well, if that's the case, then what's up with all these different classes and rarities? Finding something suitable is going to take me forever. Hmm. Say, do you know the determining factor it is when it comes to class selection? Like, why the system would allow you to choose a rare class while others only get common? Leon's eyes widened, then he stared at Derek in alarm. What? Derek asked. It's the great system. Calling the great system what you called it is considered blasphemy, Leon said. Derek snorted. What's it gonna do? Smite me? He looked at the sky. Smite me, oh system, he said, then looked back at Leon. See, nothing happened. He didn't know how mu he didn't know much about systems, but he knew that whatever they were, they had better things to do than punish a single individual over some words. Leon let out a breath and shook his head. He couldn't comment on Derek's antics. I'm not sure about your question. There are some theories, but they're all above me. The only common consensus is that the great system gives out classes that are suitable for the individual. So what the person does before selecting a class is taken into account by the system, then counts towards the classes they might obtain, Eric asked. Leon shrugged. Maybe. I don't know. People have always been discussing the topic. Hmm. Derek had some ideas about why he was able to choose between so many classes, but he didn't say them out loud. Except for wisdom, all my stats are already above 200, which I'm sure makes me suitable for tons of different classes. So the system definitely takes stats into account. If that was the... If it was only experiences, I wouldn't have half the classes available. I see a lot of classes that lean towards me being a tank that uses heavy weapons. Those classes should be there because of the combination of my stats, personality, and experiences. Ah, all these classes to choose from are going to give me a headache. He sighed and asked some more questions. If you take a common class initially, can you upgrade its rarity later on? What happens when you hit level 25? Derek asked. Leon looked at him confused. Derek understood the confusion. How could somebody as strong as him not know the basics when it came to classes? Derek didn't bother to explain. Some classes upgrade in rarity as you level. Those are called growth type classes. All classes have some form of upgrade at different levels, like at level 25, but the upgrade isn't in rarity, it's in class skills. The skills may upgrade, or you may get new skills. Sometimes this is what most of us do. If we're lucky enough to, ha to and can do it in at an early upgrade, you'll be able to choose a different, higher rarity class at your upgrade points, Leon explained. And how does that work, Derek asked. Well, it can be a problem. Switching classes, that is. Some class skills may be suitable to your new class and carry over, but it's also possible to lose whole skills if a previous skill is incompatible with your new class. You'll lose, you'll lose it and every skill point you spent buying it, so you have to take careful consideration when choosing to switch classes, even if it's a rare, higher rarity, Leon answered. Those who start out with higher rarity classes are truly blessed. Leon's eyes radiated envy. At some point, the loss of skills and skill points become too detrimental to make switching worth it, even with extra skill points. Sure, you don't lose much if you're switching at level 25, but if you're at level 100, would you l risk losing every skill you have? You may end up only having a couple of skills to go with your new class. Switching to a rare class at level 100 give, give you extra skill points to spend, but only a couple of class skills to spend them on. Extra skill points, Derek asked. Yeah, Leon frowned, or furrowed his brow. Common classes give five skill points at each class upgrade. Uncommon gives seven, rare gives ten. I'm unsure of higher rarities, but say you reach your level 50 or 100 upgrade. Do you want to possibly lose up to ten skill points just to upgrade from common to uncommon? Remember, you lose the skill points along with the skills. If you read the class description of a new class and it was similar to the class you currently use, then it may be worth switching classes. Your new class may be suitable to your old skills. Then you wouldn't lose them in the skill points you invested in them, or the time invested in leveling them up, Leon finished. I see, Derek replied. Thank you for asking my, answering my questions, Leon. He was truly grateful that the older man seriously answered all his questions, even if they seemed dumb or basic. Not a problem, Leon replied with a smile. Derek inwardly groaned at the decisions he was going to have to make. Let's see if I can sort this shit out. He pulled the list of classes back up and winced at the number. There has to be a better way, he thought. Then he focused on the rarity tab. The classes tab sorted itself by rarity, and he took the small win. This is more likely like it, he thought. Then he scrolled through a bunch of epic rarity classes. Arch Sage. Nope, sounds like a pure magic-based. Not for me. Sword Dancer. Blade Singer. Too dexterity-based. 
He went through the list of classes, dismissing classes that didn't suit his fighting style or personality. He mostly kept classes that focused on endurance and vitality. He also kept some that may have higher resistance to magic. On Earth, he was very tanky, but some monsters and enemies used magic and took a toll on him. He'd like to have some defense against magic this go around. Soon he had a list of classes narrowed down he liked to six. Available classes. Class name slash rarity. Arcane Knight, Epic Growth Class. Champion of the Void, Epic Growth Class. Elemental Berserker, Epic Class. El Eternal Guardian, Epic Class. Chaos Glaive, Rare Class. And Shadow Brawler, Rare Class. Derek felt he made a very compelling class list. Now he had to thoroughly go through each class and find the one that fit him best, or made the most sense. He stared at the bottom of the list with the rare class. Shadow Brawler. You have become one with the darkness. Shadows can be bent to your will. Move with the shadows to unleash the darkness into your foe. Shadow Brawler is a rare class that uses your bare hands and dark magic. Three skills will be available upon class selection. For each level, you will obtain two stat points into strength, and vitality, and one stat point into wisdom. You will receive ten free stat points per level. That doesn't sound bad at all. If I wasn't a sucker for my glaive, I wouldn't mind trying it out. I do like fighting with my hands. What if one of the skills lets me hide in the shadows and move around as I wish? That'd be awesome. My survivability would definitely increase with that. After viewing the Shadow Brawler, he moved on to the next class. Chaos Glaive. Your glaive is a part of you. Your will is its will. You are a chaos personified. Only destruction will be known to the enemies who come across your blade. Chaos Glaive is a rare class that gives that uses pole arms as its main weapon, specifically glaives. Three skills will be available on, upon class selection. For each level, you obtain two stat points into strength and vitality, and one stat point into intelligence. You will still receive ten free stat points per level. Hmm, I really like my glaive. He imagined all the new glaive-related skills you get by selecting Chaos Glaive. Still, he moved on to the next class. What are you doing? Why are you screaming? He literally just walked up onto the stool next to me, screamed, and then sat down and went perfectly quiet. Strange little creatures that live in my house. Here, receive a poop. Eternal Guardian. You are eternal. You're immortal. You have been ravaged by your enemies, yet you still live. You are your own guardian. Eternal Guardian is an epic class that uses heavy weapons and has great vitality. Four skills will be available upon class selection. For each level, you obtain four stat points into strength and vitality, and two stat points into endurance. You will still receive ten free stat points per level. Derek kept his eyes trained on this class description. Now that's what I'm talking about. Eternal Guardian checks pretty much all of my boxes, except for a focused magic defense, but it still may have it, and it just doesn't say. It is Eternal, with an extra endurance and vitality. My magic defense would be boosted naturally. Still, Derek wasn't so, wasn't so impatient to jump the gun and choose the class without thinking hard. Elemental Berserker. Berserker. You fight with the elements by your side. I'd, you fight as you bleed. And as you bleed, you fight harder. Elemental Berserker, Berserker is an epic class that uses the four elements along with heavy weapons, specifically great swords. Four skills will be available upon class selection. For each level, you obtain four stat points into strength and endurance and two stat points into vitality. You will still receive ten free stat points per level. You fight, you bleed. That doesn't sound fun at all. Pass. Just because he liked the survivability of a class doesn't mean he liked getting hurt. He wasn't a masochist. Next. Arcane Knight. You are a knight. The perfect balance between offense and defense. Your armor will keep you safe while your sword er eradicates your foes. But you're not just any knight. You're a knight of the arcane. And arcane is magic in its purest form. Arcane Knight is a growth type epic class and he uses swords and arcane magic. Four skills will be available upon class selection. This is a growth type class. There is a possibility of its rarity being increased in the future. For each level, you will obtain four stat points into strength and vitality, and two stat points into intelligence. You will still receive ten free stat points per level. Wow, the class name sounds kind of basic, but the description is crazy. 
And it's a growth type class. Does that mean it may become a legendary class in the future? You couldn't help but do a double take at the class. You would get more defense, and that would go on top of the stats from the previous system. Also, he would get more attacking power. With this class from the other system, he had great defense, but he lagged in the attacking power and skills. Plus, he'd be able to use arcane magic. Even in the other system, arcane users were legends. But he calmed down. There was one last class he needed to look at. He had avoided the class and saved it for last, not because it was awesome, but because it brought back bad memories. Memories of him being trapped in the darkness, the void. However, it was also an epic growth type class, so he'd be an idiot to reject it just because he was scared. Champion of the Void. You have lived within the Void, and the Void has chosen you as its champion. Unlike others, you will no longer become trapped in the Void. It is your ally. The Void, Champion of the Void, is a growth type epic class. Preferences for this class are unknown. Two skills will be available upon class selection. You will receive 20 free stat points for allocation to your choosing. Derek read and reread the class description again. What? Only two skills. The other, other epic classes have four. I mean, what the hell? The 20 free stat points are nice, though. Really, Derek thought his choice was clearly made for him. He wanted to immediately back out and choose Arcane Knight, but something kept him from doing so. It was like an itch at the back of his mind, almost like he had with his dormant skills. I don't know. Why is choosing a class so hard? I knew this was going to happen. It's always a pain in the ass. Even class upgrades are a pain in the ass. He inwardly vented his frustrations. Then he looked back at the class description and went over the line. You will no longer became, become trapped in the void over and over again. He had planned to never go anywhere near the void again. But the phrase was an extra insurance for him. What if the class lets me control it? Not only, not only would I not have to fear it, but I could use it. Still, only getting two skills is a real kick in the balls. Maybe it's a case of quality over quantity. Derek sighed with his choice. His choice was down to the two growth classes. Finally, he made his decision. Screw it. Would you like to select Champion of the Void as your class? His decision cannot be undone. Yes. That's the end of chapter 12. Give me the paperback. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have fun, guys.